May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month. Skin cancer is the most common type of cancer, so it's so important to know your risk factors, especially when it comes to melanoma, which is often considered the most serious skin cancer. Melanoma causes the vast majority of skin cancer deaths, according to the American Cancer Society. And to help raise awareness, I got some insight from an otolaryngologist and a patient who's been battling melanoma for 25 years. How old were you when you were first diagnosed with melanoma? 21. Melanie Carney was a student at Western Michigan University at the time and noticed a mole on her calf. I was cutting it every time I shaved my legs. A biopsy turned up no cancer, but when the wound hadn't healed after several months, Melanie's dermatologist cut deeper and discovered melanoma. I had a full lymph node dissection from my left groin. A surgery in 1999 she thought ended the ordeal, but in 2014, the then 37-year-old felt an itchy bump on her scalp. It was a reoccurrence, prompting an excision and a full-body PET scan. And I came back as having a tumor in my right thigh, my right butt muscle, my lymph nodes, my lungs, and my right calf. It was stage 4 melanoma. What went through your mind when you got that diagnosis? Shock. <laughs> I mean, a lot of shock. She also found out through the PET scan that she was pregnant. And when it was time for baby Hannah to come, an emergency C-section revealed a melanoma tumor on her ovaries. So she, quote unquote, saved me a little bit because if I hadn't had to have the C-section, I wouldn't have had a scan for three months. So that tumor could have caused more spreading. Why is melanoma so deadly? You know, melanoma um, has a way of uh, spreading to lymph nodes. Dr. Vivian Wu, a head and neck otolaryngologist at Henry Ford Health System, where Melanie has been treated, sees many cases of melanoma. How can people prevent getting melanoma? So melanoma is most likely caused by excessive UV exposure, UV rays from the sun. Um, but it's not just from the sun. We've got um, many patients who spent a lot of time on tanning beds. Being exposed to ultraviolet or UV rays is one of the risk factors of melanoma, but also having a family history, a personal history of other skin cancers, a weakened immune system, lighter skin, hair, and eye color, being older, being male, having moles that are present at birth, and having many moles or atypical moles. So remember the ABCDEs of melanoma detection. A is for asymmetry, where half the mole does not match the other. B is for border, where a mole's border is irregular, poorly defined, or scalloped. C is for color, which varies or comes in different shades. D is for diameter, moles that are wider than a pencil eraser. And E for evolving, moles that change over time. Melanie Carney's message? But the treatments are getting better. People are living longer, and you don't have to be scared. That's right, and we thank Melanie so much for sharing her story, and we wish her all the best. Now, to help protect yourself from skin cancer, listen to this. Check your skin for changes regularly. Don't use indoor tanning machines. Stay out of the sun as much as possible between 10 and 4. Use sunscreen with SPF 15 or higher and cover up with long sleeves, long pants or long skirts, sunglasses and wide brimmed hats. Dr. Wu sees a fair amount of cases on the ears mm -hmm. and on the scalp. So ball caps may not necessarily be helping you. Those wide brimmed hats make a big difference along with seeing your dermatologist regularly. And that goes for all kinds of people, not just because right. it mentioned fair skinned people, mm -hmm. you know, people with darker skin can get melanoma as well. As so guys, short hair. Yeah, you, you have to take steps as well. Right. The risk is lower, like one in 1000 for black mm -hmm. people, one in 200 for Hispanic people. And your chance of melanoma for white people is one in 33 for your lifetime yeah. chance. Right. So a lot larger for uh, for Caucasian Americans, mm -hmm. but it's still there for everyone. So Absolutely. You, you definitely got to take uh, take some steps. Thank you so much.